In this video, I will show you how to use the Roblox account manager. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on Roblox. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is actually go ahead and download the account manager. So what we'll do is leave a link to this website in the video description down below, but you wanna come across to here and just click onto the download button just here. So what that's gonna do is download this onto our PC. So what I'm gonna now do is click onto the folder icon next to the download to open this in my downloads folder. From here, the account manager is going to be a zip file. So what you want to do is right click and then come down and click on to extract all. And I'm just going to go ahead and extract this into my downloads folder, just like so. So once that's done, what you're going to want to do is double click onto the account manager folder. Then we're going to double click to launch the Roblox account manager application. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to come up with a window like this. And the first thing you're going to want to do is select how you want your data to be secured. Generally, you want to go for password locked. This is the recommended option. So what I'm going to do is click onto this and it's going to ask us to enter a password. So I'm going to do that now. And then you can come down and click on to continue. So next, it's going to ask you to just confirm your password. So you just want to go ahead and enter your password in again to confirm and then click continue underneath. As you can see, we are now in the account manager. So what you want to do first, you just want to give it a minute to download. And here we are ready to go. So basically what the account manager does, it's basically an application that allows you to add multiple accounts which of course is good if you want to play on alt accounts without having to change accounts. What you can do is use this to easily switch between different accounts. So once it's finished downloading, you can come down and see the add account button here. What you want to do is click onto this and what it's going to do is actually open up a internet browser and just ask you to log into your account. So what you can do is log in and what it's going to do is add the account to this box here. So you can add as many accounts as you want to. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is add the server ID for the game that you want to play with different accounts or to accounts. So to do that, what you're going to want to do is come to Roblox. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and click onto one of the experiences. So let's go for block suites, for example. If you actually click onto this and what you want to do is come up to the address bar at the top. And if you look after games, you're going to get a set of numbers just here. So what you want to do is actually copy this sequence of numbers, as you can see. So just go ahead and hold control and press C on your keyboard or alternatively just right click, come down and click on to copy. So once you've done that, you want to come back to the account manager. Then what you want to do is come up to the place ID. So here where we've got a sequence of numbers, get rid of the numbers that are in there and just go ahead and paste the experience ID. As you can see, it says block through. So it actually detects what experience this is. Then what you can do is go ahead, start the game up and you'll be able to use the account manager to switch between different accounts and of course play with different accounts. So that is how to use the Roblox account manager. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.